you were off. And then Stampede of Turtles. Moving at four miles an hour. Please make sure to hold on to all your sunglasses and children. You don't need any flyaways. <laughs> Alright guys, over here on the right hand side we have Card Day Circle Restaurant, which was modeled on the Los Angeles Theater Card Day Circle, where we're all familiar to Snow White and some others. Uh, does anybody know how old the movie is? And please don't yell out ears, I am for a woman. About 37. That is too many numbers for me. I'm going to assume you meant 85 years old. Um, Snow White is 85 years old. That's right, she looks pretty good for an 85 year old. Uh, Walt Disney did win an Academy Award for Snow White, which is pretty cool because it was its first in its category. Um, they were a little skeptical and hesitant because they didn't think anybody would sit through a 90 minute animation, but they did and they loved it, and that's why we have the animations we do today. That picture, oh, oh wait, I skipped part. <laughs> Uh, Walt also did receive seven Emmy Oscars for the Seven Doors, and that picture is actually in Part Day Circle Restaurant. Um, if you guys have a chance to check it out, I highly recommend. Um, I've heard from a friend that the food and the adult beverages are really good. Once again, I heard from a friend. And if you like garlic, that is the place for you. All right, guys, we are approaching our Hollywood South. We do ask you to remain seated at all times. So, Lachali does come to a full complete South by our doors are open. From here, you can access Mike and Sully, the animation building, and... Um, so, it's pretty obvious at this point you guys are obsessed with this song. Um, Derek and I will be doing autographs and pictures at the end. Um, I do not mind signing next to my boss anyone else. Um, we are about the same height, so I mean, we're kind of like twins. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright guys, uh, Felix Trey Hill Hollywood goes for miles and miles of the sun each day at 1041 in the AM in the East. Just kidding, this is an optical illusion. They call it Force Perspective. Um, they use it a lot in the movie industries and in parks. Um, you may notice the next time we're on Main Street, the castle is not as big as it was. So please don't tell anybody, I am in um, really good with this. Magic Key Terrace for the first day at DCA. Um, it's a Friday, so this is how we're starting off the early evening. Now, we did get a uh, cocktail here, but nothing on the menu. Um, I'll have to get the name from our server. But it had like vodka, strawberry puree, sparkling wine, and there's one other ingredient that I'm missing, but um, that sounds pretty refreshing. Now for um, food, we did get the three little sliders and the Monte Cristo corn dog, so we're pretty excited to try that. And then they did give us some little postcards here from the Magic Key Terrace. So that says, great eatings from Magic Key Terrace. And it's a little postcard there. And another one here that says, the views would be even better with you. And then blank on the other side too. And the last one just says Magic Key Terrace and it has that fountain there um, that you see at the entrance. So I think out of the three, I'm trying to think which one my favorite might be. Let's see. Hmm. I think it might have to be this fountain here. My next favorite is probably the peacock and my last will be this one here, but all really cute. We've come here before and they've never given us postcards. So this is a nice new little perk. Once the food comes out, we'll go ahead and show you what the food looks like. View here of the Magic Key Terrace, just kind of showing you what this patio area looks like. And usually they say that there are like cats. I think its name is Nutmeg. And it's that cat right there that usually you'll see walking around sometimes. And just behind me, you can see Guardians of the Galaxy. And yeah, Guardians. On the other side of me is Pacific Wharf area. So here's one of the drinks. This is going to be the Heimlich's Choo Choo Juice. 
non-alcoholic for six dollars and it's uh, minute made lemonade with granny smith apple syrup and fresh watermelon looks super refreshing and they recommend that you stir from the bottom up so you get the full effect of the flavor and the next one is the avalon cooler and he said a bunch of things but it was basically like strawberry cucumber and watermelon puree with vodka i think a squeeze of lemon and sparkling wine on top and they also recommend this one that you start from the bottom and make your way to the top now um, i don't have a price on this one only because it's not on the menu anymore the last we came i want to say was in may and it was on the menu so um, they must have just recently removed it, but we're going to go ahead and try it and see what we think. Let's go ahead and mix this up. Mix this up really well. So I don't get a straight shot of vodka. <laughs> it's sparkling wine. It's starting to mix thoroughly, but it's good in there. So this drink is pretty strong. You can really taste the vodka and the sparkling wine, but it gives it a nice like crispness to the drink that sparkling wine on top. Um, recommend thoroughly mixing it first before you take a drink because it'll taste just like straight vodka. So um, really mix it together. And yeah, it's basically just like an agua fresca with vodka and sparkling wine. So I do recommend this. Pretty refreshing, pretty strong. So if you want a drink that's gonna pack a punch, I recommend this. Okay guys, so food's come out. Now these sliders here are the three little sliders and they're all served on a toasted sesame seed almond bun. And the one that has like straw there is carnita style pulled pork with jalapeno and red onion crema with tortilla straws and the stick one. Now I don't know what comes the stick one, but it's pork belly with smoked bourbon barbecue sauce, apple sticks, and arugula salad. Last one is brick and it's coffee red pork tenderloin with grilled pineapple, Calabrian chili sauce, and crunchy chicharron. So that's the last one, which is brick. And stick is that one here with the pork belly. And then straw. And then the next thing we've got is a Monte Cristo corn dog. And that here is ham and Monterey Jack corn dog with strawberry thai, chili jam, fresh berry compote, and red wine grape jelly caviar served with palm fruits. So we're gonna dig in right now. So we have another drink here and this is the watermelon margarita. So what they do is they get the Heimlich's Choo Choo like mixture that's non-alcoholic but they just add all the ingredients that you normally put in a margarita. I love watermelon, I love tahine, so I'm thinking I'm going to love this. So we're going to go ahead and take a sip of this. Let's see. Mm. Okay, so you can really taste like that fresh watermelon puree, which I really love. It's really refreshing. It tastes just like a watermelon a la fresca, so that part of it's really good. But the bartender seems like she put a fresh shot of um, tequila on top, so I'm going to mix that in just a little bit more. I'm actually going to take a sip of that from the rim so I can get that tahine rim. So the drink with the tahine, like combined, is a total game changer. So you get like that tanginess of the tahine and the watermelon, and it's super refreshing. This is like the perfect summer drink too, but perfect year round also. But yeah, pretty strong. So it seems like the bartender here tonight is making the drinks on the stronger side, which is good. Um, that's how I like it. <laughs> so I would break this one out of the 10. Probably a seven. And the last one, that was the Avalon cooler. That one I'd probably rate, hmm, maybe like a seven as well, honestly. I think this one I rate like an eight, a strong eight. Avalon cooler about a seven. Either way, both really refreshing. Pack a punch as far as alcohol goes, and I recommend both of them. <laughs>
Oh, I've had three girls in a coffee. This is for that. 